My room is a white canvas, freshly drawn on. The grass is just pencil sketches, and her words are 40 shades of green. Her metaphors are emerald, similes are neon. Adjectives are kaleidoscopes of mostly monotone imaginings. I knee on pillows that in her presence become tree stumps. The bedroom is all farmland, I am top sheepdog. I cock my leg and pee on tree stumps. My poetry meets root. Tree stumps begin to blossom. I yelp like a puppy bitten by possums, run behind the headboard and watch things unfold. She, lying on the bed, is never whole. She's dissipated, a thousand blades of tall grass. She's a million leaves, a handful of hibiscus petals. She's oak bark and acorn seeds. I bark, my breath becomes breeze twisting and she, petals shifting. A small storm cloud appears out of nowhere. I switch the light on and off, enticing a thunder strike. Followed by rain, she reacts to the weather. I am the weather thing. I am this metal melting. I'm a ghetto boy made bashful, beholding a beauty unfolding. She's an Iliad of bromeliad and bows. The concave of her belly is the Amazon's river bowl. Her arms are savannas and white plains. I nose dive from them into the deep soft between her Grand Canyon. It is my favorite part. She trembles, she starts. High in a troposphere, a snowstorm starts. She sees that this room will not contain us, moves the desert of her foot towards the door. I am the skier in the blizzard on her back. We have a down the flights of stairs together. Her shoulder bones are mountain ranges. Her spine is a glacier. She burst out the front door, teeming with crazy flora. Vines and wild beasts leaving spinning. On the top step, in a crystal glass, a mixture of refined molasses, beetle berry, and a shredded amaryllis marinated in new rain. And I am certain, as a truth seeker, having burned the book of lies, I am certain, as I toast after her, that everything will change. From now on, Pineapples will grow from street lamps that light, filter through fruit, starts a new trend in new trends. From now on, phone boxes will be greenhouses. In them, lilies will blossom whenever a loved one is called. From now on, power lines will be replaced by vines that cities will run on photosynthesis. Traffic cones will be tree stumps. Pavements will be streams. From now on, cluster bombs will be filled with seeds that the falling sound of one simply signifies a future harvest feed. I am joyous, caught in this instance of reeds growth through crazy paving and rippling puddles of mead. Then, the sky darkens, grass recedes. I see a bold mist in the distance, a pandemonious haze of jade hues rustling. The carbon smog gets bigger. I dive across the front porch as it blasts to the front door and landslides up the stairs. I climb this crumbling gradient of an inner leg, but forests fire me. Attempt to hurry across the thigh, but Cain senseless. I am tidal waved to her now barren belly, tornado twisted to melting snow caps and throwing spine. I turn her over, returned, deformed, she's held together by withering vines. Her arms are sun baked, her pupils are oil spills. She cries black tears that poison lips. I am the swan swimming in it upon my wings for my friend's sake. She's fading around me. Her shivers are earthquakes, the bedroom is graveyard. Her words are forty shades of grey. All is quiet once again, save this rising sound of passing emeralds. The havoc of hurricanes and she, my fading friend.